and welcome to the Cook to Flourish Kitchen. This is Robin Cook and I am so glad that you are here with me today. We are going to be making potatoes in two ways, savory and sweet. And so today I went to my local farmer where the red fern grows and we got some beautiful produce. We got some beautiful Swiss chard. We got some little potatoes. We got some big sweet potatoes and mixed greens and many wonderful things. And so I wanted to share with you though a couple of ideas of how to make the most of your potatoes and your sweet potatoes. So first we're talking about our potatoes. So these are just, you know, new potatoes. And all I did was I washed them and I chopped them into little pieces. I tossed them in some avocado oil with some pink Himalayan sea salt or real salt, either way, some black pepper, fresh garlic, and you can either mince your garlic with a knife or I really like to use a garlic press. So whichever way you prefer, you can do your garlic. And then I also chopped some of a radish because we also got radishes in our CSA shares today, as well as some chopped onion that you can put with your potato. And then also we got some fresh parsley. So you can sprinkle in some fresh parsley and then make sure that you save a sprig for after you bring your potatoes out of the oven. So you're gonna mix all of these herbs and spices together with your potatoes, toss them up really good with a spoon or use your hands, put them into the oven at 350 degrees for right about 30 minutes and then you get the pleasure of bringing out these beautiful roasted potatoes out of the oven. It smells so good with the garlic and the onion, and then you get the little pink spurts of the radish in there with your potatoes. It's going to be amazing, so your family is going to love it. And then to top it all off, all you have to do is take some of your remaining fresh parsley. You can chop it or you can just tear it and just Voila, you have some wonderful savory roasted new potatoes. So these of course would be beautiful with some wild salmon that you've made or with some baked chicken would be fantastic or maybe a hamburger or a roast. These would be a wonderful side dish to go along with that. Now, how about sweet potatoes? How can we enjoy our sweet potatoes? Now, I would love to hear in the comments below if you are a sweet potato fan and how you and your family enjoy cooking with them. But one of our family favorite ways is really simple. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your sweet potato and wash it and cut it into cubes. So I, here's an example here. I just cut this into three, uh, three slices and then I cut those into three and that should give you some little cubes. Now you're going to get a glass baking dish out. You're going to put your sweet potato cubes in there along with a half of a tablespoon of coconut oil. Then you're going to get to your hands in there and you're going to melt that coconut oil with your hands and with your sweet potato cubes. Then you're going to take some cinnamon. I like a lot of cinnamon. So I did one teaspoon, but if you just want to do like a half a teaspoon, that is totally fine. And then I also did about a quarter of a teaspoon of our pink Himalayan sea salt. And then I think a little bit of sweet with a little bit of savory is good. So I did some pepper as well. Then you put those into the oven at 350 degrees. Now these take a smidge longer than our savory white potatoes did. So these take anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. So I would check them after 30 minutes, poke them with a fork or with a knife and make sure that they're tender enough. If they're still a little on the hard side, put them back in the oven for another five to 10 minutes and then bring them out and they should be this delectable, fantastic smelling roasted sweet potato dish. It is wonderful. You are really going to enjoy that. Now, if you are allergic to coconut oil, you could do avocado oil instead or grapeseed oil, but I really like the coconut oil because it enhances that natural sweetness of our sweet potato. Now, now that we have these beautiful sweet potatoes to use as a side dish, you can use that along with baked chicken like we mentioned, or wild salmon, or a burger, or a roast. However, they do work well for leftovers. You could put them on top of some mixed greens the next day. You could saute up some Swiss chard and enjoy them alongside your Swiss chard. You can also make them into a dessert. Are you excited for that? This one is one that my mom just loves. So you take your sweet potatoes, you can have them warm or cold, and then you can melt some dark chocolate. I like mine really dark. So melt this. If you need to add a little coconut oil to make it a little bit thinner, you certainly can. And then 
drizzle that dark uh, melted chocolate onto your sweet potatoes in a little bowl. And then if you like shredded coconut, you could put some unsweetened shredded coconut on top as a garnish. And then if you really wanna go all the way, you could chop up some pecans or some walnuts or almonds and sprinkle those on top and then get yourself a spoon and enjoy. Wouldn't that be delightful to enjoy that? So those are the ways that we can enjoy our new potatoes, savory or our sweet potatoes, savory or sweet. So thank you so much for joining me here in the Cook to Flourish kitchen. God bless you and enjoy your veggies.